What's going on, Maskaholics? Well, I've got another really great mask to show you guys. It's Pee Wee from Evil Dead 2. And don't ask me why the basement witch is called Pee Wee. That's just what people call her. So we'll just go with that. It's a really, really great mask from Trick or Treat Studios. You can usually find it from anywhere from like 52 or 53 to like $60. And that's a pretty great price for what a quality item this is. It's got pretty thick latex. The paint works pretty good for a mass-produced mask. The hair is even pretty decent for a tots mask. And I don't know. I really, really like this guy. Love these giant teeth. They look really, really great. Love the shading around the eyes and all these lesions or whatever they are in the forehead. Love the crazy deal where the ears are missing. I'm not sure where her ears went when she turned into a monster. The neck looks really cool and gross and there's kind of a glossy slimy look to it. So all in all, I think this guy is really fantastic. I don't really have anything negative to say about this mask. I kind of wish just from a stylistic standpoint, I kind of prefer the look she had when her eye had been popped out. I kind of wish there was like an alternate version of this with one eye but other than that everything is really fabulous about this and after seeing how cool this is I want to get a an evil Ed or whatever his name at some point is maybe the hair might have been a little more longer on it or something might look at some reference photos online and try to figure out some different ways to style the hair on this thing but uh, I don't know. No complaints with old Pee Wee here. I give him two big thumbs up.